Hello everyone, I'm about to do some skincare um, and some gua sha on my face. Just my jaw has been really, really sore. Um, and unfortunately, I had to change my Botox appointment because there was an event that was like at the exact same time and I was really sad, but I had to change it to the week after. So that's a ways away now, but that's okay. I am going to do some gua sha and I've been using this Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. Actually really, really like it. I was planning on using this Valmont Elixir, but it's actually like a dry oil. Really, really interesting. Oh no, I just spilled some on me. Really, really interesting like texture. It's just like a dry oil. It feels really, really nice. So if you're someone who likes the hydration of oils, but don't like how greasy they get, then I would highly, highly recommend checking out the elixir. I'm going to do some gua sha, get my face all nice and massaged. And whilst I do that, I'm going to try the new Beaumont eye cream is going to be like the most hydrating thing in the world. I can just, I just know it. All right. Oh my God. It's so nice. All right. All right. So I think I am going to put on a YouTube video of sorts and enjoy my gua sha. I finished my gua sha. Now I'm going to brush out my hair and put in my hair mask. What I like to do is I actually like to wash my hair at night. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It honestly, it just depends on how I'm feeling. If I don't feel like washing my hair at night, I will get it a little bit wet with like a spray bottle um, or I'll honestly just simply, when I shower, I will just get my hair wet and not wash it with shampoo. And then I will go in with my Amika hair mask, which is the best. Hair is brushed. Now I'm going to go in with my mask and I'm almost out of this container, um, but I go in with quite a lot of it and I will just put it everywhere, especially on my ends and on certain sections of my hair that are just a little bit dry. Obviously, I will avoid my scalp. So I'm gonna go in with another good chunk of that for the other side. And I do this about once a week, really depending on how my hair is. So these tubs will last me quite a bit. And then I'll grab just a little bit more and go through kind of those front pieces of my hair. I'm gonna quickly go wash my hands now. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna put my hair in a bun. That way it's not like in my way whilst I finish getting ready for bed. And that is it for my hair mask. Now, like I said, when I go to bed, I'm actually gonna take it out of um, the bun, but whilst I'm, you know, getting ready for bed and putting jammies on, making a tea, all that jazz, I like to just have my hair away from my face and this is perfect, so yeah. Since I have my Dior event tomorrow, I'm gonna bring out all my powerhouse skincare that I know always makes my skin feel amazing. So first up is gonna be my Caudalie Vinyl Perfect Serum. This is literally amazing. I use it almost every single night and I absolutely love it. For moisturizer, I've already got quite a lot of hydrating um, products on my skin. Like I already used the oil. So I think I'm gonna either do my skin smoothing screen from Dermalogica, which I'm like almost running out of, or this La Creme from Clay de Peau. Now up until this, Cream. I had never tried clay de peau and I have to say 
this cream is so beautiful i really 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 like it and um, this was actually sent to me and they also sent me the serum i am not crazy about the serum my boyfriend really really likes it i find it fine i actually prefer my dermalogica one way 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 more but this cream is so so beautiful so i actually think that's what i'm gonna use today and i love it because you only need like a really really thin layer um like that is how much i use for my entire face i just find i don't need a lot of it to actually hydrate my skin and i just find i wake up with the most rejuvenated skin ever so if you're looking for a new moisturizer that kind of does it all i would highly highly recommend checking this guy out otherwise this one's amazing and oh did he steal my moisturizer i think jack stole my Caudalie premier crew i can't find it maybe it's in my drawer but the premier crew is also amazing from Caudalie. um those are like my powerhouse moisturizers that is my skincare for tonight i am now gonna go make a tea and get into bed so that way i can have a good night's sleep for tomorrow I am also going to add a little bit of self tanner on my face um, just because I my face is looking very pale right now so I'm just gonna add some of this on top of everything also a little bit of an update on the Saint Tropez self tan purity vitamins bronzing water serum um, honestly I I think I still need to use it a little bit more, but I find it's a little bit light. I don't find I get as much as like of a tan than the tanning mist, um, the other one that I've used before. So yeah, I'm still going to keep using it obviously because I have the full bottle, but that's just an update on that if you were curious, but I'm now going to go make a tea, get into some jammies and um, probably grab a book and read and get into bed. Because, yeah I'm tired it's been a long week and um, yeah but I'm very excited for the Dior event tomorrow because it's my favorite brand I wish they could dress me one day one day I'll be dressed by Dior and I'll be like wearing Dior um, that is like a dream of mine but for now I will wear my own Dior like outfit um, which I'm so excited to show you tomorrow by the way so so excited but anyways let's go get ready for bed Good morning everyone. I just finished getting ready. I blow dried my hair this morning, did my makeup. My skin is feeling absolutely amazing after all the good skincare I used last night. It's amazing what good skincare does for your skin. It's sometimes it boggles my mind. Um, but I'm just gonna touch up my hair a little bit because today I am going for that like super sleek straight look. Um, especially for my Dior event. I feel like Dior this year has been like very chic and like strong, powerful hair looks. Um, and so I'm kind of going to play around with that look. But yeah, so that's kind of um, my morning. And for the rest of the day, I'm going to be filming. I feel like I recently have been so busy and haven't had time to just have fun with creating content. So I'm excited to just do that, film all of the outfits that I have been wearing. But have not been sharing so yeah i'm excited to do that but i need to touch up my hair and i'll show you kind of how i've been styling my straight hair what did i do with my one second um, as i was saying i will show you how i've been styling my straight hair because honestly i've been really enjoying doing straight hair with my like shorter hair I think it looks really, really pretty. So, I'm going to touch up. First of all, I'm going to touch up any curlies that I missed whilst blow drying. Honestly, what I do is I'll grab my flat iron and I'll just twist it inwards to just get that kind of like swoopy look. And I'll just continue to do that for the rest of my hair. Um, it's not perfect, it's not my intention, but yeah, that's what I'll do. 
and I love the look of it so 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 much like that so I'm just gonna keep doing that and also thank you so much to all of you who have been just praising my hair um, it is amazing how much healthier my hair is even just now all I've done is blow dried it and it looks so healthy the balayage is beautiful but and you know it gives such beautiful texture to your hair but it just always left my hair looking like dull there was no shine no matter what I did to it there was no shine whatsoever and I just I don't know I wasn't about that anymore I just wanted super healthy looking hair like 24 7 and yeah but I do think that I am going to let my hair grow out to a nice long length and keep it this dark. I think longer hair suits me really well. I think my mom was saying this and I, I agree with her. Um, I think long hair suits me, um, but I'm going to leave it this dark. Someone was asking, now that I can see my highlights here, someone was asking if I just went completely dark or if I have some sort of highlights in there. So I actually left my balayage. Um, so Chelsea did not touch my balayage. All she did was retoned my previous balayage to a much darker color. That way the difference would barely be there. But when you curl it, you do have that dimension. And honestly, that is most likely what I will continue to do. I think having that balayage or low lights, whatever you want to call them, really does give that dimension to your hair that just a solid color would not. So yeah, that was just a personal preference of mine. I really just wanted my hair to still have some dimension, but I wanted it to be dark. <laughs> and that is what I decided to do. And I couldn't be happier with it. So there you have the difference of the two sides this one's a little bit crazy and this one is just much more sleek and kind of curled inwards which i love so i'm going to do that to this side now so that is my hair all styled up and that's how i've been doing the straight hair it's really really simple um and I of course added some of my argan oil just to the ends to make it a little bit smoother and healthier and hydrated because it is super super dry and cold outside um but it's amazing like how much better i feel in my hair there are two things that make me feel either amazing or horrible and that is my hair and my nails my makeup it's whatever you know clothing fine but like my hair and um, nails it's just really, really important to me. So to have my hair back to being super, super wonderful makes me so, so happy. But for the rest of the day, I essentially will be filming. I think I already mentioned that. Filming and then hopefully before my event, I would love to be able to step out and do a little bit of some shopping, some Christmas gift shopping, um, because I just feel like I have no time and I wanna get this stuff done. So I'm really, really excited. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and get to work. Hello everyone. I feel like I haven't talked to you in a hot minute, but I've been working all day, I've been filming all day, and um, I now have to start getting ready for the Dior event. Um, but I just ordered some food. I ordered a salad from Mandy's because I don't want to eat anything too heavy um, because dinner isn't until like 8 o'clock and so that's what I'm doing and I have had my makeup on all day so I think I'm actually going to wash my face, put on a little bit of a mask to have a nice glowy base um, and then redo my makeup for tonight. So yeah. I also realized I never actually chatted with you about Mandy's salad um, and what my consensus was on it. My consensus was they are very good salads. Would I necessarily go out of my way to eat there? I don't think so. Um, obviously, I ordered it. It's great. But if I'm like, it's the type of restaurant that like if you're in the area, it is absolutely a restaurant I'm going to stop by and eat. I feel like a Kardashian. <laughs> um, but it is not one that I would necessarily go out of my way. But I'm having it today. They're really, really yummy. I like the peanut 
saute salad. That's the one that I got at the restaurant and it's really, really good. So yeah, just trying to find a good way to shake this. <laughs> I just put my hair up, but I haven't eaten all day and this is like single-handedly the best thing ever when you're hungry. <laughs> wash my face and whilst I do a mask I'm gonna finish eating my salad or at least part of it um, I just want to be able to do my makeup before the sun like goes down because then I can't see anything <laughs> anyways let's go do that face is washed just gonna quickly add some Then I'm gonna go in with my Caudalie um, face massager tool, whatever you wanna call it, just to massage my face a little bit. I feel like it gets really puffy throughout the day, especially when I'm like clenching my jaw unknowingly throughout the day. That's really, really frustrating. So that's what I'm gonna do. Makeup is all done, so I look a little bit crazy. Um, I'm touching up my hair, but makeup is all done and I feel really, really pretty. I actually used my chanel um water fresh complexion foundation with a little bit of my Giorgio armani foundation just because i feel like this one's a little bit too dark and this one was a little bit too light so i actually mixed them together and they were really 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 nice i only used like the tiniest bit of both though and yeah skin is just feeling really really healthy um but i am just touching up the ends of my hair just so they have that like swoop underwards <laughs> I love the look of like the swoopy straight hair. I think it looks so, so sleek. Um, I am gonna have to use a smidgen bit of finishing spray. Um, it's like, it's not quite a hairspray, so um, it's not gonna be like super stiff like hairspray would, um, but it's just gonna help tame those flyaways. Cause last year I went to this event, they had like a proper photographer there and you could see all of my flyaways. Like, all of my flyaways. That was also when I learned that, unfortunately, my favorite um, setting powder, the Makeup Forever, um, it gives like a white cast with flash photography. Lesson learned. So I won't be using that one this year. I actually used my Laura Mercier one this year. Um, Cause that one's still really, really good. And it won't give a white cast, as far as I know, actually, let's hope. Actually, cannot confirm that. in a bit of a pickle because I'm just getting dressed to go to my Dior event and my pants are a little bit big on me because I haven't had time to get these um, fitted so when we shot this outfit which is I'll show you in a second um, my mom safety pinned like the sides of the jumpsuit to me so that way it wouldn't fall down but I'm not the handiest with that so I need to call her quickly to see if she can help me do that because I have to leave in like 10 15 minutes at the latest and i also have no idea where any safety pins are in this house so i'm gonna call my mother but before i do it let me show you so essentially i hope you can see and it's not terrible lighting in here but this is a little jumpsuit from karen millen and the pants are attached here and as you can see there's a little safety pin here well i need another one on the other side to just kind of like keep the pants up that's what i need help with from my mom so let me just call her Hi, Raymond. I need help safety pinning my pants. What I are can... you gonna do this in one side? Like, do I pin husband? it on like the outside on the of, of the? Your okay. Okay. Love you guys. I'm gonna leave like now. Bye. 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 Yeah, I will. Okay. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Love you. Okay, we're with the Lee girls. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you.